Daniel Lucero from San Jose, California. And I'm speaking as a uh, uh, civil rights activist, uh, taxpayer, uh, citizen, government. Um, from what I understand, you have one single lone complainer about the gun stores in your city of Pleasant Hill. And uh, she's been using your committee to do her dirty work because she also had an issue with her neighbor who was teaching young children to swim. And uh, she was able to exact her revenge through, uh, through this committee. So I don't, I don't like when the fringe gets to use public servants in that way. It seems very disturbing to me. Um, calling this a public safety issue is, uh, is ludicrous. Um, you know, the person complaining doesn't want people to be able to defend themselves against violent attack or water. It's just that funny. And uh, <coughs> this person thinks that the founding fathers made a mistake when they included the Second Amendment in the Bill of Rights, but she's the one that's mistaken. <coughs> Earlier this year, the courts found that the 8962 ammo ban was unconstitutional. It was uh, stricken from the law. And uh, what you're trying to do is eliminate the availability of ammunition locally, and 8962 was designed to eliminate it through mail order. Um, so you're trying to do the same thing, which already died in court. It's kind of silly. Um, Chicago tried to do a similar thing with uh, gun ranges. They didn't want it in the city, so they passed a ordinance to uh, outlaw them. And uh, the, uh, uh, the appeal court uh, in the Easel versus Chicago case, they found that uh, you know the the ability to use your gun is uh, you know it's core to your Second Amendment right. So what you're doing eliminating ammo is the same as eliminating gun training in a uh, a shooting range, and you're eliminating the core part of the right. So uh, you know you're running up against the same problems that other people have had in court, and if you do pursue this, you'll get sued and you will lose. <coughs> Um, if you are going to keep making uh, new use classifications for things, I suggest that you make a new use classification for civil rights violators. And you can put them in with the porn theaters, just like uh, Gusters. Thank you very much. Oh, and one thing. Um, the lawyer said that there are areas where uh, gun stores are incompatible for use. So, is Pleasant Hill the place where it's incompatible with the Constitution? You know, it's our Constitution, it's good everywhere. Not everywhere except Pleasant Hill. Thank you very much. Daniel, one question. Uh, you said you're from San Jose? That's right. 